I'm Jen from Haley Family and today we're gonna cook a whole chicken in the Dutch oven. Let's show you what we're gonna do. So first things first is we need to get some vegetables. We generally do whatever we would do in the crock pot for like a pot roast or something. So we have carrots, little small new potatoes, celery, onion, and then we have our whole chicken and we have a variety of seasonings that we're going to use. We're gonna end up um, using some oil in the pan. We're gonna use some chicken broth salt and pepper, and we like garlic and herb seasoning. It's just like an all, all over seasoning. So we wanna start with cutting up our vegetables. I like to do about one inch pieces. These, when they're bigger like that, that means they're not gonna like disintegrate when you're cooking. If you make them much smaller than about one inch pieces, they kinda just break apart and get mushy especially with a crock, crock pot or a Dutch oven because they cook for a long time. Of course, when it's all done, you can always cut these up smaller for kids or whatever. Um, and I also, if they're really big, fat, round pieces, sometimes I make them a little bit smaller than an inch. There's those. These are the little tiny potatoes. I'll use about two of these per person in the family. And if they're a little bit longer like this, I might quarter them. If they're a little bit smaller like these, I usually just cut them in half. You can use any kind of potato in this recipe. Uh, you can use a russet potato, you can use a red potato, you can use these new potatoes. Our grocery store here also sells the little tiny baby round round potatoes. We like to throw those in. If you're using the little ones, I would not cut them. I would just leave them whole. Okay, some celery. The celery is the same as the carrots. You want some big pieces. The celery is really more in there to add a little bit of a crunch and to help um, season. The celery also adds some moisture to the recipe. So when you're cooking, especially if you don't have a whole lot of chicken broth, or something, the celery releases moisture as it cooks. All right, and then for our onion, we don't wanna cut this really small, fine pieces. Hi Paige, it's okay. We just want to really just quarter it. You want some big chunks. Maybe this might be a little bit too big, but that's about the size you want. All right, so we ended up cutting those into about six pieces, and you're gonna break it apart a little bit Now we're gonna go ahead and put everything inside the Dutch oven. So I wanna go ahead and just put some oil in the bottom of the pan. You're gonna use about a tablespoon or so of oil. You really wanna make sure that there's plenty of oil down there. Then take like a brush or something and you really wanna kinda just make sure the entire bottom is covered. And then use the brush and wipe the oil up the sides. This is gonna prevent sticking in the Dutch oven. It's going to add flavor to the chicken and the vegetables as they cook. All right, that looks nice. Then you're just going to layer your vegetables on the bottom. I kind of mix everything together, so I'll start with a handful of potatoes, handful of carrots, handful of celery, some onions, and you just keep adding until it's all gone. Okay, I told you before, make sure your onions are kind of broke up a little bit. Two pieces together is okay, but you really don't want more than that. Okay, I'm wipe my hands here. Now you wanna cover the vegetables in some olive oil a teaspoon or two, not a whole lot. Then we salt and pepper. We really like to use the grinders 
because it adds a lot of flavor. When you just use regular pepper that's already been ground, I feel like I don't ever taste it. I use this and I use half as much for more flavor. <laughs> Went flying, huh? Same with the salt grinder. You don't have to use as much as you normally would when you're cooking. Then we wanna use a little bit of garlic and herb grill seasoning. This isn't too salty, so I'm not scared to add some of that seasoning. Now we're gonna put the chicken on the top. I like to season the chicken underside before I put it in the Dutch oven. So I'm gonna turn this boy over here. I'm gonna wipe my hands again because I just touched chicken juice. And we're going to just salt and pepper. bit of garlic and herb seasoning. Of course you can season this chicken however you want. Season salt is really nice on chicken. Then turn it back over, put them in the Dutch oven. As the chicken cooks, it's going to drip its yummy, delicious juices all over those vegetables. Okay. And then I give a little squirt of olive oil. And then the last step is to use a couple cups of chicken broth. I like to just be able to see the chicken broth in the bottom of the Dutch oven. So this is not entirely full, it is a four cup container, but it's probably has somewhere between two and three cups of chicken broth. If you pour it on top of the chicken, your seasoning is going to go running. All right, there we go. I'm going to put a little bit of seasoning right on top. And now he's ready for the coals. Oh yeah. <laughs> He's ready. Mm. Doesn't he look good? All right. Well, the coals are getting warm, so we'll take it out there in a minute. Cool. Our coals are almost ready. And to be honest, I've got the easy part. I just put the Dutch oven on here, put some coals on top, and you let it go for 45 minutes to an hour. So I'm going to put the Dutch oven on here and get an adult beverage and watch it go. all covered up. Um, it takes about 45 minutes to an hour and uh, while it's gone I'm just gonna sit back and relax, uh, have a drink or two and then we'll open her up and see what she looks like. quite nicely. The coals are turning completely white. They're cooking down. I can actually start I smell the chicken starting to cook in there. So I'll check back in here uh, after this other adult beverage is finished. 
cage, what in the world? Really? I just think you want to be a fairy tale princess with an umbrella. No. <laughs> we little oh, okay. For real. Do you want an umbrella? No, I'm okay. We're still cooking. We still got a long ways to go. Probably another 20 minutes. Okay, so it's been a little bit more than two adult beverages. So about 45 minutes. You can see all of the uh, charcoals cooked down. It's all done it's still really hot but I'm gonna try and pull this lid off and you got to be really careful so you don't drop any of the charcoal down into your chicken but we want to see what it looks like let's find the handle here oh there it is slow and steady oh baby the chicken looks kind of burnt. It's a little crusty on top. We got it a little hot, but I think we're right there. Yep. So I'm gonna put this back on. You're gonna sit down somewhere after. Yep. I'm gonna pull it off. Where? <sighs> what are you doing? Did you already hit the button? Yep. Oh. Yeah. Okay. So the, the, it's cooled off enough, enough that I can pull it out. So I'm going to pull the, the chicken out of here, put it on the cutting board. Oh, yeah. Now we're going to pull out the vegetables. Okay. So let's pull the vegetables out of here. <laughs> hey, what are you doing? All right, now I'm just gonna cut the the, uh, the chicken here. So I'm gonna flip it over, cut the legs off, cut the wings off, and then cut the breast. So here's the first leg. Second leg. The wings. Now we'll cut the chicken breasts. Did oh. you just take a bite? Yeah. What are you No, no. It's disgusting. You don't want to eat that. It's gross. <sighs> it's so good. <laughs> so look at all this chicken we got. And then look at all of the vegetables. And we still have a whole bunch that we can pull off when this cools down and make sandwiches with. And then the bones, you can even take the bones and boil it down and make your own broth to do it again next time. This is a great activity to do when you have people come to your campsite because this, this is a lot of food. 
and you could feed a lot of people. So if you have two or three or two families come and you have 10 people, this is enough food for 10 people and then you have a dessert or whatever. But it's a great activity because you can involve everybody. And then they could sit around and watch the, the Dutch oven cook on the campfire and you can have a conversation or play a game or whatever you want to do. It's a great thing to do at the campsite. Um, we'll link our Dutch oven below. So if you want to get a Dutch oven, we'll link the one that we use below in the description. Um, but if you enjoyed our video, please subscribe to our current subscribers. Uh, thanks for watching. We're going to have some more adventures coming out soon. Everybody knows it's kind of a weird time right now, but we're working on some things. So uh, just hang in there. But in the meantime, try to get out, have your own adventure, and make some memories.